guys, it's Sandy here. So I recently asked my TikTok what they wanted to see me do in a YouTube video and a couple of people said a day in my life. I just woke up, I brushed my teeth, washed my face and stuff and I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm not a morning person at all. I need to have my coffee and I need to have it right now so for today i need to go into campus sorry i just want to close my eyes i'm so sleepy i need to go into campus today at 11 a.m i have some tiktok videos that i need to film and then i have a tiktok business zoom meeting at like 6 p.m oh yeah i need to do some editing as well i haven't done editing for my youtube in a long time i feel like my voice is super deep in the morning hmm. anyway let's eat i'm hungry i usually watch some anime in sub never dub while i eat my breakfast and drink my coffee i'm currently watching episode 9 of haikyuu so in our department we use this really cool little site called book it and it basically allows me to schedule a slot and book in whenever i want to go into my lab and i just made my booking from 11 a.m and that's just to keep track of who's in the lab who's using what equipment to um keep on par with covid and lockdown regulations because you don't want too many people in the lab at one time and now i get to do my favorite part of my routine which is makeup and skincare so this is my vanity area and by now you guys should know that I use a Korean skincare routine. So today I'll just use this toner and essence moisturizer eye cream and sunblock. Is eye cream just expensive moisturizer? That's a secret I'll never tell. And now let me just do my makeup and let's do like a TikTok transition. Wabam! And now I just need to get dressed. It's half past 10. I'm okay on time. It's just as a Libra, I never know what to wear. Wait, what's the weather like? Let's just do a little test on this weather. Mm. It's windy, but it's not super chilly, but it's not warm either. So I'm ready and it's 10 to 11, so I have like 10 minutes to get to campus, but it's fine. Nobody's going to shout me if I'm late. So this is the final like outfit. I just have like a black top and then just this maroon jacket some um, blue jeans and white sneakers and yeah let's head out i'm gonna take an uber to campus and yeah the big building is the main building but i'm going to the second building that's in view so i've made it to campus and can i just say what is the point of combing my hair what is the actual point point? and it's starting to drizzle of course i mean it's pe Okay, I need to hurry inside now. I need to get up to the second floor over there because that's where my lab is. I don't want to get wet. 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 My hair is going to shrink. <laughs> so I'm just entering the building through the basement entrance. And for those of you who are wondering what exactly I'm studying, I'm doing a Master of Science degree in Microbiology. And because I'm a postgrad student, I get to use the fancy elevator. <laughs> Look how weird it looks on the inside. What even? And then I don't like touching the buttons. So I'm just using my student card to press the buttons. And and up we go this is the microbiology department i'm going to try and keep my filming to a minimum just for privacy and safety reasons remember this is a lab and i don't want to make any mistakes because that could lead to a dangerous situation i'm going to try to keep my explanations simple and not too difficult and scientific to understand when i get into the lab is gear up appropriately tying my hair back wearing my lab coat wearing my gloves and because of covid i'm wearing a mask this is the precious fungus aspergillus flavus that i do my 
research on. This fungus produces spores that can infect agricultural crops. It produces a toxin. And if this toxin is consumed by humans, it can have major health implications. Immunocompromised individuals can also inhale the spores and that can cause all sorts of respiratory complications. To put it very simply, I'm trying to infect corn and maize with this fungus that I am studying. I need to first sterilize the seeds so that I do not get any problems with growing the fungus later on due to any other microorganisms or impurities. So the fungus that I'm going to infect the corn and maize with is frozen and I need to make sure that I keep the fungus frozen while I'm working with it, which is why I work on ice. And this fungus is just stored at a minus 85 degrees Celsius fridge and has this cool layer of frost that's almost like snow. And once I've infected the corn and peanuts with the fungus, I'm going to separate them into these labeled petri dishes. It's extremely important to label your things because you will forget what you put in there. So I have the date, I have the name of my fungus, Aspergillus flavors strain NRRL3357. And I have two different strains, which is why I have a bunch of different plates. Popping them into a 28 degrees Celsius incubator. And you know what we let it do. We let it vibe. Five for four to five days and I'm done it's just a little past one and I'm going to head back oh I'm really not looking forward to the wind that sounds <laughs> fresh air a little too much of it I might add oh, okay it looks like the wind it's kind of calmed down a little bit. Out of 10, I'd say the wind is like a level 5. For now, could be all these trees that's just... Yep, there we go. There's that wind. home I get tired so quickly after leaving the house so it's half past one and I just got back home after being at campus I'm kind of hungry I might eat lunch I usually just like lie on my bed for a little bit after coming back home usually if I had some results to process I would immediately start working on that so I don't forget everything that I did but I don't have anything to process so I'll probably eat something actually I have some chicken biryani and sour milk salad that my mom made for me and sent for me yesterday so I'll probably eat that for lunch and supper today so yay I don't have to cook. so I've just heated up my food and I have some Sprite to drink and while I'm eating my lunch I usually just go through my DMs on Instagram and TikTok and reply to any business messages or emails and respond to comments and things. Recently I've been getting quite a few students actually message me across my different platforms you know asking for advice and information about studying microbiology so i really like taking my time and answering those responses to the best of my ability because this is someone's future you know i don't want to give any misleading information done eating and i think i'm going to film one tiktok video and then i might film my grandfather afterwards to check on him, see how he's doing. So oh, I filmed that TikTok video where I was responding to some comments and stuff and I phoned my grandfather. The call lasted like 20 minutes. Yeah, and he's fine. They changed the insulin that he's using. So now his blood sugar levels is a bit whack. And yeah, we recently got a new TV at home. So he's enjoying watching the Indian movies on this TV because now we have like four Indian channels. Before we only used to have SABC. By the way, speaking of TV, this TV that you see, yeah. 
that came with this place. I don't even use it. It's not even plugged in. It's just there. Yeah, I feel like my day is so boring. I don't know if this is living up to your expectation. Um, if you do want to see me do more vlog type videos, comment down below. Give this video a like. If it gets a good response, I guess I'll do more vlogs. But yeah, did you see like I came into contact with no people? Like I generally don't come into contact with people anyway. Before COVID, during COVID and even after COVID because my life has just always been social distancing. I know it's weird like i do social media but i'm like anti-social look how pretty the sky is right now sun is setting excuse the dirt on my window it's around 20 to 6 now i've been posting tiktok videos i usually post my videos from 5 p.m to around 8 p.m in the evening because that's when most of my followers are active just a little tiktok tip also since it's almost six i should be getting sent that zoom meeting code basically the tiktok south africa creator managers in charge for beauty content creators in south africa i don't know what this meeting is for i think just to check up on us so that's cool. I don't know, I feel a bit weird because some of these people are actual celebrities. Like actual, actual Instagram celebrities. And I'm just like... So yeah, I just have the same top that I wore this morning. But then it's like a party happening down there because I have track pants. And <laughs> slippers. <laughs> and socks. And then I need to show you my night routine, which I think it's interesting. You should see the amount of things that I watch at night until like 3 a.m. in the morning. I do not have a healthy sleep schedule at all. There was like 5 past 7 now. That meeting lasted an hour. I haven't had to dedicate my attention span to listening to someone for so long in such a long time. Because I don't have classes anymore, you know, as a postgrad student. <laughs> But it was really um, informative and definitely motivates me as a creator. One of the points that was brought up in this meeting is about building a brand for yourself. Which is something luckily I've kind of established earlier on when you think of Sandy, when you think of Sandy Corn, I'm sure you immediately start thinking of things about me, things that I frequently things <laughs> you, you see um we got to speak to whitney i'm sure a lot of you guys know her from tiktok i can take off this makeup now i would like to take a shower so i just came out the shower and my face is so dry so i need to go in and do my nighttime korean skincare routine that's the thing. I'll use the same Benton Cosmetics toner that I used in the morning and the same essence. But this time I'll use the Som By Me 30 Days Miracle Serum as well as the Som By Me 30 Days Miracle Moisturizing Cream. These products are really there to just help me reduce my acne scarring. I know I said I was going to edit my YouTube videos but I can explain. So I downloaded season 2 of the Umbrella Academy and I really want to watch that so I'm gonna watch that now and I have this Aero chocolate which I'm gonna eat while I watch the season 2 of Umbrella Academy and I have unicorn socks just look at the unicorn socks unicorn socks and I've set my LED strip lights to pink you know, I really shouldn't be eating this. I'm actually supposed to be watching my figure because I have a photo shoot on Saturday. But at the same time, the people who asked me to do this should know that I'm not a model. So they should be prepared to have to edit out my fatterals. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel it's pointless to change my lifestyle right now. You know, I can't just lose a fat roll and i just want to take some time to relax and do something that i truly enjoy which is sit in my bed eat unhealthy snacks and watch something i enjoy so i guess that's it for a day in the life with me thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
comment down below give this video a thumbs up don't forget to follow my socials which will be linked down below in the description and i will see you guys in the next video 